thousands applied, just two winners, all expenses paid. 50 days, five continents, five unforgettable tours. An interactive adventure that puts you at the center of everything. Previously on Tour the World. My name is Jessica. My name is Joan. We in Rome. It was amazing. <laughs> Navigating the city is a challenge, and it's even more so when everyone has an umbrella. <laughs> Food is one third of your experiences. And I'm happy to enjoy it. <laughs> Are you ready? 100%. Welcome to Tour the World. So we didn't really know what the vessel was going to be like until we were looking at it. I was actually really surprised by how beautiful and big our sailboat is. A sailing boat is such an amazing way to, to get around and, and see a place. We didn't have like enough wind to really like throw up the sails yet, so we were just like really enjoying the coast of Prochida. And then all of a sudden we round this corner to Cordicella. I forgot what it was called. Coachella. <laughs> okay. You see this picturesque town called Coachella, and it's all these brightly colored painted buildings. It's like, you know, if you would see a rainbow painted in a mountain. It's a story that is just kind of a myth, but it makes a lot of sense because giving different color to the house is when uh, the fishermen were just out of the arbor fishing over there, they could well recognize their own home. And so they could well understand if their own wife, she was going in the wrong color. <laughs> yeah, and this is a little story, but really, believe me, here people are very jealous. So it makes sense, it can be true. Alex, our captain, um, he's hilarious. He's like the perfect Italian guy. He's really funny and light. Oh, okay, <laughs> Hoppy. It seems that we are a group, okay? But we are not a group. Included me, we are a crew. He had a very unique way of making everybody feel safe on the boat. You don't die, usually. It seems that I'm a tour leader, a group leader or whatever leader. No, I'm not, I'm a captain which is a little different. Because there are some things that you really need to know and to pay attention to for everybody's safety and security, and that was his main priority. In this top, there's no discussion possible. But I decide, I decide, I'm sorry. So while he was explaining it, he had some like serious comic relief that he threw in there. What about if the distress is me? You know, the stupid idiot skipper was dancing, completely drunk on the stern. He fall off board. And he would go over it, and, and the, for, for, he would show us while he was telling us, and he would just like make sure that we totally and completely understood ooh, 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 while ooh. making us all laugh. Whatever happens is mainly my fault, not your fault. But uh, we are a crew. We are all on the same boat now, really. You wanna steer? No, not now, later. <laughs> it's nice to go on a sailing boat, but it's better if you go sailing with a sailing boat. This is first time we open these sails, so everything can happen. We hadn't put the sails up yet, and so it was really cool, like, getting the crew to do their parts. It felt like in this movie's one, you know, the captain just, like, starts moving everything. Let's put the boat with the nose in the wind. We were like taking the ropes and we were like all ready and he just like gives a sign up and we try to pull. Oh, when I'm telling you, you have to pull that. Are you doing it? Okay. You're working two people then. Pull. We all had a task at hand, and we all did those very well and seamlessly. The sails go up, you know, and it just literally felt like, like a movie when, you know, everybody together, it just works for the common goal of making that boat move. John, release and pull. Jesse, perfect. Not more, that's it. Enough. <laughs> okay, now we are moving with the wind, huh? Dream come true, for sure. Perfect. Good crew. I was there with Alex. 
and you know, I sailed since I was a kid, but I never sailed in a big sailing boat. But it felt like when I was a child, but real. Alex, the like wild, energetic sailor. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Super perfect. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. So we arrived to the city of Sorrento, sailing, and already I could feel that's going to be full of possibility. Arriving from the ocean was something that I don't know if I'll ever get to experience again. It was just so beautiful. I know, I know, I know. I told you. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Whatever uh, problem you have, I'm here with the boat, huh? Okay. Come here, you have a house. Yeah, it's beautiful. Sorrento is insanely picturesque. The great thing of group touring is that, you know, like it's full of options. Like it's, it's been too much. It's almost like it's impossible to decide. And I love that because it's like everybody can choose their own path. A couple of options for today. One of them being uh, the Vesuvius walk with uh, the visit of the crater and the beautiful view from out there of the Bay of Naples. The other one is uh, the Pompeii archaeological site, which was perfectly preserved from si since 2000 years ago. So what's going to be? You get to decide either the Vesuvius or the excavation site. Tell me. <laughs> yes, we are going up to. That's where we're going up? We said our house. That's your house? There are the, the trees, the yeah. big trees. Those big yeah, ones. the house is on the left. We were all ready to like taste and smell and experience everything that Sorrento had to offer. Well, welcome to everybody at the Giardino di Vigliano and I'm Luigi Nunziata and I'm the owner of this farm with my family. Now we are in Massa Lubrense that is the biggest area of the peninsula of Sorrentina. The guy Luigi was just like showing us with a passion. He's been on this business for so long. Thousands or millions of years before there was a very big explosion of the Vesuvio and, and now our soil is different for three big characteristics. The soil is really soft and the tree became bigger. The soil is very rich with the minerals and our soil have a very, very low pH level and every fruits and vegetables that live in this land are sweeter. Yeah. But, it's better in Italy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and really understanding the process of how they grow these lemons. There's like a lot of love and dedication and pride to continuing this tradition. So guys, now we make a jump on the terrace. Classico limoncello, we need only four ingredients. The alcohol, the lemon zest, the water, and the sugar. That's it. We like literally were holding the lemons that like we're making what we were drinking. It was awesome. So the question is, do you shot it or do you sip it? No. No, don't shot it. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Salute. I just, um, being that I've like spent a lot of time in Italy and like studied here, I can really appreciate the like very strong women that like hold down everything here in Italy, but they also like create these beautiful, delicious meals that like, that mean something to them. Come una buona tradizione napoletana, ogni questo prodotto, la puzza, viene fatto con ingredienti molto semplici, che sono acqua, farina, olio e lievito. And it was a lot of fun watching Lodo translate because the woman was so very serious. From this point, obviously you can uh, go, you know, uh, as crazy as you want on your pizza, maybe not pineapple or ham. But you could tell that she actually enjoyed what she was doing and like the, the work and the time that goes into making this delicious pizza, but she's also very serious. No, 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 no. Uh, the guys got an explanation on how to do it, and now they're they're getting challenged to do it themselves. I'm not next to you, telling you the whole thing. Yeah, that's, I mean that's mm. cheating. She says you're good. I am. Yes. That is a lot of mozzarella. I like a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the chicken? <laughs> Look at her face. She was like, I'm gonna kill you. No, no, don't be preoccupate. It was insane how many options we had, how fresh the ingredients were. Yeah, wow. It's so good. It's really good. It's so fresh. 
it was one of the best pizzas we all ever had. It was just like, it felt Italy in our mouths. Ciao. The clouds dis dissipated and the sun came out and we dropped the anchor and decided that we were gonna like really enjoy the weather. Put my sunglasses on, everybody just ran out like it was like, oh we need to get our swimsuits, everybody running for the swimsuit and everybody was standing, swimming. It was amazing, really, like the weather has just turned on for us and we couldn't be more lucky to be in this place right now. And then Travis goes like, hey Juan, do you know how to do backflip? And I'm like, well, I'm, I only did like one in my life. He's like, yeah, don't worry, it's gonna be fine, you know? And I was just like, yeah, sure, like that's what I'm carrying through the world. Like, I have to say yes, there's an opportunity. Like, if I don't do it now, what am I gonna do it, you know? The water is freezing, but so refreshing and really great. Juan is just really um, adventurous and like he wants to like really get a nice. full experience out of everything that we do. And so he, you know, he really like immerses himself in things and like takes risks and it's really fun to watch. Then the next question comes, hey, who's gonna go paddle boarding? And I was like, let's go for it. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> yeah, man, first time paddle boarding. <laughs> I mean, I never did it before. I go there, but it's <laughs> going to be tri really tricky, way more tricky. And basically, I could balance, but I could not like move by paddling. Joan! <laughs> Joan, arms up, ready! At some point, I started like hearing some voices like, Joan, come back. Oh, poor guy. And then like Alex just taking the whistle, and I was like, guys, yes, I'm not like, I'm, it's fine, you know? And I turned myself. Come back! And the boom was like so far away. <laughs> He's so far away. And I was like, okay, so how do I turn this thing now? Turn around! I have to go on my knees. I managed to turn it. And I was like, I'm gonna go back, paddle boarding, standing, you know? It's gonna be nice, you know? Next thing I know, oops, something happened. It's not like, oh, I just flipped one, but I learned the lesson? No. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna fall the times I want. But it was not going forward. Like, literally, that paddle board was not moving forward. At the end, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna enjoy. I'm not gonna even pretend to be a paddle boarder. I approach the boat, I try to play chill, like. Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> but I keep need to like try a lot more and more. I always thought it was like the most chill thing ever. Um, I was completely wrong, 100%, 100%. Buongiorno. We are on the boat and all you can hear is crashing waves and birds. It's life. It's like legit life. It's the life that I want like every day is what that yeah. life is. We're gonna stay on the boat. Stand by. Tour the world's over. <laughs> I think that we all really enjoyed the balance of being on the boat and enjoying the sea and arriving at a new port that had so much to offer every single destination that we went to. So we finally arrived in the Amalfi Coast. There is like a million things to do in here. However, we managed to narrow it down to two things. Is it gonna be the Ravello town, which is beautiful sea views, or is it gonna be uh, Amalfi and Positano? So you let me know, what is it gonna be? Ravello or Positano and Amalfi? The most difficult thing that I'm learning on this trip is that goodbyes suck. And so I've decided, especially with the farewells with this group, that like goodbyes aren't gonna be a thing anymore. It's gonna be until next time. I wanted to, to say a few words. Uh, you guys have done a kick-ass job with all the stress and all the filming and all the, you know, different things, aspects of it. So we wanted to kind of do something a little bit special for you guys. So what's I'm going, like, through, what's going through your head right now? <laughs> <laughs> just hit me, just like, let's <laughs> see what this is. Um, are you happy with just traveling with you two or, or you think you're actually having like a companion would actually help you on the next part of the journey? What do you mean a companion? 
Would you like to both invite one of your best friends or a family member or something like that? Are you crazy? Yeah, to fly over and actually come and join you on the African trip? Oh my god, yes. We're going to Africa and that's different. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta pick one. Oh my god. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.